Jones here, aka Boy Gone Bad, your favorite horrible archer coming at you through this video. It's a nice, beautiful day, nice and hot, sunny. Got the pool filling up. Hopefully, I'm going to be able to open it up tomorrow. Uh, I haven't been able to shoot much because, uh, well, it's the end of the season for work and uh, they've been keeping us real busy doing a whole lot of trips and stuff like that. So I'm out here with the dogs and uh, spending some time with the dogs on this beautiful day. It's getting a little hot. Having a Peroni 0.0 alcohol. Very good beer. And uh, I thought I'd bring you a different type of video today. Rather than bragging or showing you how great of an archer I am, which I'm not. I have very little to brag about. But um, hey, it's all about having fun. That's all I care about. At my age, uh, you know what? Can't take things too serious. Not even as idiotic government that we have. Uh, we're communists, in case you don't know that by now, but I'm not here to talk about politics. Um, I've been noticing a lot of people, rather than, you know, showing videos of how to shoot, how to, you know, s string your bow, how to do this, how to do that, they just show their bow collection. And I figured, you know, that's a good idea. Let me, let me show everybody what I've got. I've got uh, 11 bows, five that are store-bought, and six that I've made on my own, and I have two crossbows. One that I made shoots full-size arrows, can shoot a 32-inch arrow, uh, no problem whatsoever. And I have one of those little mini uh, crossbows that you can buy, uh, 70 pounds is the draw weight on it. And uh, those things are pretty dangerous, man. They're, they're, they would do a number on somebody. I like it. Anyway, let me... Uh, let me take you through my collection and uh, hopefully you enjoy this video. Alright guys, so here's a view of uh, all my different bows. Show you the very first one that I've gotten. This is like a no-name bow that I got from Wish. My last video featured it um, because I just got this um, quiver, mount on quiver that I put on there. And the broadheads and uh, it's, it holds five arrows and it's a nice little bow it really isn't bad at all it's, uh, I forget the name I found out who actually makes these and believe it or not they make black hunter bows they make uh, a lot of bows that I was kind of shocked to hear that they have their own version of um, and I've got videos where you can see that especially the last video I shot a few of the new broadheads and everything so that's the first bow I got bought it right out of Wish right off of Wish, actually, and, um, well, actually, the very first bow I ever bought from Wish was this bad boy right here. I made it into a crossbow. Yep. This is, uh, a, a trigger that works. You can see here the way you string it up. You actually put the, uh, the string against this, and this creates the pressure against that. And when you pull this, it releases it. Boom, that pops down, and it shoots the arrow right through this little whisker basket. Yep, and it works good. 40 pounds. Anyway, I was shooting this bow. It's a real cheap bow, but it, you know, it'll cost me only uh, 30 bucks to get that like 12 arrows, a arm guard, and I think they gave me a tab, which I don't get tabs, I use uh, finger savers. As you can see, they're on all my bows. There's a close-up of uh, some finger savers. You can get 10 of them for $3.60 or something like that. And then with the shipping, I think it comes to like a total of 66 cents. This is that little crossbow, 70 pounds. Um, so I just wanted to get the crossbows out of the way. So then we come over here. We got a little bee here, a little bumblebee flying. These are Luano bows. I don't think you can even get these anymore. Um, these are both 45 pounds. These were the next bows that I bought. These were actually, uh, these are good bows. They're actually very comparable to uh, the Black Hunter. So what happened with this, the reason why I wound up with two of them, is because uh, I am the American channel. His name is Jeff. He uh, was showing this bow off 
and I was in the process of possibly buying a Black Hunter. So I saw his video. He owns a couple, and he said this bow shoots just as good as a Black Hunter. Although a Black Hunter will cost you about, I don't know, anywhere between 110 to 160 dollars. I think I've seen them. Well, this bow cost 60 dollars, but unfortunately, when I got it, the upper limb. I think it was the upper limb was twisted a little bit, so it didn't work good. And I was telling him on his YouTube channel about it. And lo and behold, Jack Luano, the owner of Luano Bows, uh, who was partners with Cupid Archery, as you can see there, that's their logo, uh, was listening or watching, I guess, the uh, text back and forth. And he decided to send me out a brand new one. So I got two of them now. Um, the one I've pretty much twisted it. I learned on, uh, you know, you can Google what to do with twisted limbs. And so that's what I did. And uh, it works pretty good now. So and, and I have two good shooting bows. I, I, I love these bows. They really are nice shooters. Uh, they're actually a little bit, they come in a little bit heavier than 45 pounds. And you do feel it. They're not the smoothest drawing bow, but they are nice bows. And they are very accurate. The next bow that I got, um, because Jack had done that for me, he came up with an upgraded model. It's kind of like a Samic Sage. That's this bow right here. And um, you can see, see he's got a, his signature on it, Luano bow. And uh, this, this bad boy is really nice. So I got this in 40 because of my bad shoulders. 40 pounds is really the draw weight that... I can shoot all day. 45, uh, after, you know, a dozen or two shots, it starts getting a little tiring. And uh, so I got this, and this thing is really accurate. Now these, the original Luanos, they're uh, 60 inch, knock to knock. This one's 62 inch. And um, of course it's got the, you can buy different limbs and you, got, you can switch them out real quick with the knobs there. Don't really care for the knobs, but you know, it is nice to, uh, a quick changing of limbs if you wanted to then i got this asdw 40 pound short bow it's only 56 inches knock to knock um the very first bow that i showed you the wish bow i think that's 58 inches so this is a little bit shorter it's um really a nice bow i i really enjoy this bow and shoot it a lot i um it comes camouflage except for the limbs i did that myself um And that was, uh, I guess, the last bow that I actually purchased online from Amazon. Uh, never bought another bow again. So what happened was, for those of you who know me, I almost died a couple years ago. And I went into the hospital, had four surgeries within the course of a month. Almost died twice from those surgeries. And because um, my pancreas blew up, basically. And... Um, I needed to buy another bow because lo and behold I come home lost about 60 pounds and I had no strength I couldn't pull any of these bows back so I was watching different YouTube channels on how to make bows and that brings us to the next bow which was a uh, project that I undertook once I came out of the hospital to build a lighter bow and I made a mistake on it the bow turned out great this is the bow made out of wood uh, uh, red oak wood and um, it's 60 inches, knock to knock. These other right here, you can see that other notch, that's for stringing the bow. So I, I put stringer on those ends, put my foot through it, pull it up, and strings it up real nice and easy. Anyway, back to this bow. This bow turned out awesome for my first bow that I ever made. The only problem was it weighed in at 51 pounds I couldn't even pull back 40 pounds so I kind of screwed myself on that which brings me to this bow I went right back to the drawing board when you fail what you got to do is you got to get back on the horse and ride it again and I got I made this these of course as you can see I failed to mention these are Molly Gabet bows that's the style of the bow and this one turned out great. It's about 37 pounds, 36 and a half pounds. 
and uh, I was able to, you know, with difficulty, pull it back. I could, sh I could shoot this, and this helped me build my strength back up. Um, so I was able to shoot 40 pounds again. And of course, I didn't stop there. I got the uh, the bug to make bows, <clears throat> which brings me to this bow. This bow, um, as all the bows that I made, because the only good hardwood we have available to us here in Jersey is red oak at Lowe's. These are board bows. This is 40 pounds. And this turned out really nice. It's a great shooter. Unfortunately, after about shooting it for about a year, after thousands of shots, you would think that it would be fine. Well, it developed a little crack. It actually um, had a little thing raise. Uh, having a little difficulty here. Doesn't want to sit back on the arrows that I put in the ground. I think it'll the one arrow will hold it. Yep. We're good. I like to use two just to be safe. But anyway, so I did a, uh, a wrapping. Um, underneath that is uh, braided fishing line, which is what I make all my bowstrings out of, by the way. I don't buy bowstrings. I make my own. Endless loop bowstrings. And I make them out of uh, four or eight strand braided strings, at least 95 pound test, usually 100, but I'll go down as low as 90 pounds. About 12 strands, that's all you need. It's actually six, but because it's doubled over, it's 12. So it's more than uh, enough. It's overkill, really, for a 45, 50 pound bow. So anyway, I had to fix that by putting that cast on it. It's held up fine, and it shoots perfectly. And it's actually um, a very good shooter. M my most accurate bow is this second one that I made. Believe it or not, that one uh, that shoots like you would not believe. And I think one of the reasons for it is my levers I made slender. So it's got like a catapult action that you would not believe. It really flings those arrows. Now this one here is not really mine. I made this for my wife so she could do a little bit of archery with me. It's uh, 25 pounds. I think actually it's 27, but it's very light. So if, uh, you know, my shoulder's bothering me or something, and I want to just come out and go through the motions, work on my form, it's a little dusty because uh, obviously I haven't shot it in a long time. Um, this is the bow I would want to use. Anyway, try to get them back on and then, of course, here are my Penobscot bows. Here's the one with my, uh, this is my trademark right there, Christogram, with the Greek initials of my first, middle, and last name. And this one, uh, you can see in videos, turned out really, really good. I'm very happy with it. It shoots very smooth. And, um, man, I like it. You have two different settings, depending on what knock. You know, you want to put that string on for the smaller bow. And uh, so you can start off with it at about 45 pounds. And it'll go down to like 38 pounds if you move it down to that other um, notch. So as the day goes on, you're shooting a lot and you start getting a little tired out. Well, no problem. You can just lessen the weight on the uh, bow. They used to call them father and son bows because dad could take his son out into the field and he can uh, just take one bow rather than two bows. One heavy enough for the father and one light enough for the son. Then, of course, I have this one here. This is my uh, six limb Penobscot bow. And uh, there are videos on that, this that you can go see and look at me shooting it. Anyway, hopefully uh, I'm getting a good camera angle on all these. So, anyway, that's my bow collection. I hope you enjoy it. God bless you. So, guys, I uh, hope that you enjoyed that. That was my bow collection. Um, like I said, nothing to brag about. Just uh, my uh, experience with archery so far. And uh, I'm enjoying it. It's all about fun, isn't it? Um, so I don't know how many bows you guys have or how many you own. Uh, 
I wouldn't have so many except I caught that, you know, building bug. And, uh, you know, I'm not good as a carpenter or anything like that, but, um, you know, it was interesting uh, to try and make one. And when it turned out so well, just the wrong weight, you know, the tilling process is the hardest part. Um, I start to make some more, and uh, I'm pretty happy with them. I'm not, probably not going to make any more, maybe one or two, depending. I have a, another model in mind that I want to try and make that looks a little bit like the uh, Black Widow uh, bow. But um, anyway, that's it. So I uh, hope you guys have a great weekend. God bless you, and as always, thanks for watching.